sure. Wow. We already jumping into our next match. This transition was just so fast. These players were good to go. They were itching to play. Let's try to get some, some little information on both these players, but. Um, Glug, of course, if you guys don't know, he's actually from SoCal. Uh, definitely one of the players that we've seen before come to MSM. I'm not particularly sure what area of SoCal he is that I can remember off the top of my head, but not the first time that I've seen him out here, but still good to him to come out, though. You gotta watch out against Luigi, because you can't really run run the set like that. We're just trying to just shoot him. That looks like JR is a... Uh... Solo. Luigi main. Got the coin gimp? No. You gotta. You gotta pour one out whenever that happens. Yeah. He didn't just take all your money in your stock, he took one coin. And that's it. He really like, took Your money coin. wasn't good enough. Yeah, dude. Coin is invalid in this game. Persona? Okay, we're at the ledge. Uh, Arsene activated here. Good opportunity for Blood to start setting up situations like so. That hit box from Luigi side special is a little bit big, so you can punish it with. Yeah, with that counter. And of course, like it was actually really good, good play from Jr. Too. He was trying. He know that Blood wanted to get the the counter, so he like tried to mix up high, and then he tried to side B into ledge. Probably could have went a little bit lower, but. Had not having access to a second jump, being in that position, not gonna allow him to go too low. Sorry, I seem to have cut off my mic there for a second. Oh, no problem. Alright, still coming back though, once again with the tether. That's the one thing that Joker kinda has a little bit over Luigi when it comes to edge guards. Luigi at the ledge can be very terrifying to deal with in terms of like if he reads one of your options, he can also force your options in the ledge with Zare. So you have to be careful. I think the one thing I just taught everybody is understand that Luigi's common option for landing, especially from when he's at the ledge, is Tornado. But Glug here, he's doing an excellent job of just trying to punish and whiff around Luigi enough that he doesn't have to worry about that space. I mean, look at that situation. Right, comes back on the ledge, goes a little bit for take aim, takes his time. I mean, the reach is the one who's on the back foot at this point. Oh, I missed. Yeah, we've seen a couple of these uh, YOLO up Bs really trying to catch Glug sleeping and uh, convert. But another down B, Tornado for Junior is going to really give up state control. I don't know, he keeps getting these trades and... He's getting these trades and it's like not working out, not in the sense that they're not working, but he's also giving up stage control whenever like it happens. That's what you don't want to do when you have stage control, unless you know you're guaranteed an opponent's habit or an opponent's, I would say, misuse of a move, then yes, go for an edge guard. But most, most of the time, especially against characters like Luigi, you kind of want to play it safe because even at 103 with Joker at 0%, he can get pretty much, you know, shambled, so he has to be careful, still respecting him there at the situation. Okay, good grab, forward throw, the dash back into, into uh, Yeehaw. Time here, 138, like I said, still an even matchup, especially against the region, you have to respect them. Uh, you kind of play this like you would Fox or Sheik, right? You just toss needles, your opponent's going to get frustrated at one point, right? Because they're the one who has to come into the W. Watch the, yeah, I was gonna say, watch the DI or the directional air dodge. If you're if Luigi can read a habit, it'll be in that situation and you may lose the stock. Yeah, but I think this is really what uh, what Glug was waiting for, you know. Big boss Arson is here. I'm going to have oh, access to that counter, but just a little no. bit late on the counter. That would have oh. un Glug the game. I'm telling you, look, you only go for an efficient edge guard if you know an opponent's habit. If you know an opponent's misuse of a move if you have the more guaranteed read as of oh they're gonna go for this you go for the edge guard i think that wasn't glug's fault i think it was more about this timing because you know that he wanted to use big boss arsene go for the counter and then call it gg but now it's jr with the with the point of the board here i want to say glug kind of had a technical flub there yeah that was definitely a technical flub and that cost in the game that's unfortunate but it happens it's Yeah, I, that's why I tell people, man, look, just because Luigi has an L on the hat doesn't mean he's the one taking L's. Sometimes he's the one giving L's. 
even when you think he's taking the L, he is always ready to give you the L, even when you see 138 to 0% on the board. So don't let that, don't let that fool you, man. He... Yeah, but here we go. Game two. We're going to get right back to Pokemon Stadium. I actually didn't know Glug played uh, Joker. I only seen him play DK. I guess DK Luigi's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a combo video. Unless your name is and or Chucky Kong. Yeah, I think he's still in this bracket. I saw he like DQ versus Muffin from Mars and Winners, but then he started playing in losers. Oh, he probably showed up late or something. Yeah, it might have been, or it might have been some lag issues there. It happens. Yeah, Bugs Joker is pretty clean though. I think he also plays Chrome too. Oh, he messed up. Don't die. <laughs> Could have died there. Really, really Either of them could have died, really. Oh, Maybe they both are just swinging at the, on the left oh, side of the page. No. Sword hurts. I mean, 112, you have time for meter either way, but your objective here is to try to take the stock without meter because that means you've either taken percent or you did not get the right opportunity to go for a counter though. Like I said, you have meter now. You'll still be able to get another one here, but you're taking 67%. And yeah. now this is a snowball for Luigi. Not only is it a snowball for Luigi, you can see how tilted Glug is. He yeah. is he's going just a little bit too hard for this kill. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> the oh, yeah, I, don't know. Oh, I don't know why he's was too clanked there. But he messed up his edge guard again and lost our so... That's what makes Joker oh, no. very, now very he's difficult. Hit by random side bees. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, that's, when, yeah. that's when you see it slowly fall down, right? 173, 105 here. That's what I'm saying. Joker is one of those characters. He may flow very nicely, but he's very difficult to master. If you cannot get those take aims off the stage, even without or pre nerf, you know, it becomes difficult because that's a situation where Joker easily edge guards Luigi here. This is a grab. This could be it here. 40%. That's still big here. And bringing it right back to the re-grab. Finally, though, Glug with the opportunity to get the stock. And JR with a full stock lead, though. Just slowly racking up damage on Glug. Just, just looking like too hard for that kill. Just tunnel vision and... Glug ate a bunch of damage for a lost stock. Got yeeted off the side of the stage, and here we go. Glug finally, finally fighting back. Yeah. Oh. I mean, oh, oh, he dropped it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he needs this edge guard. Uh, pop, pop. Oh. Alright, okay. He still has him on the left side of the stage. I don't know, man. Oh, what? He yep. made a really bad recovery there. Yeah, yeah he did. Um, uh, this isn't over, but it's hard. Oh, uh, that's a ledge yeah, trump, and yeah. that hurts. Yeah, we didn't see that ledge trump to back air uh, from JR too much, so it wasn't exactly telegraphed. I think we really only saw one other.